Welcome to my mother's channel. Sitting around doing some videos. Most of the time is happy. Bringing good vibes. Sitting around never sappy. Good vibes from the sky. Good vibes from the clouds. Good vibes from the rain. Children always feeling so happy. Bringing good vibes never sappy. She is so nice to me. Thinking about her family. She's awesome. I love my babies. It just makes my soul go from blue to yellow. Every single day, it makes me feel happy. Being around her, that's just what she does. She looks so pretty, so awesome, so nice. Bringing good vibes, good vibes to your soul. You and my soul feel so happy. Go watch your video. Go, go subscribe to her channel. Wait, I'm not ready to start recording yet. Start like this. Wait, wait. It's not. It's not getting your body. It's so annoying. I'm gonna exercise. My gut is all out. This is to get it as real as possible. I'm gonna do my stretches. If it just looking crazy, I'll just blur it. All right, so, so we'll start with this side. Fifteen. We're doing fifteen of both of those. We're gonna do a count of ten and then fifteen of both of the things. One. And as far as the other ones, the ones that go straight up now, I don't know. Try to keep going. Ooh. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Four. Just gonna do five of these. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna do the ones I like most because they do the most work. One. We count to ten. We go one, two. You gotta make sure your heels are up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30. Then you go each by cheek. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. You count down for 10. 
you let go. And then you can do the back things. The reason why I'm not gonna do a lot of these, my wrist still hurts. Not my wrist, but my palm and my hand right here from the weights. But can you see me? Mm-hmm. And I do, that's what I'm doing out. I was supposed to do them like this, but I can't because my wrist hurt, my hand hurts, so. One, two, three, Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. All right. Watching a video of my fam talking about face changes and stuff <sighs> for a different reason, not a reason I'm talking about right now, but face changes and stuff. Okay, so this is me right now. Just got the shower, just washed my face and everything. Didn't put on my eyebrows yet and everything. And the other day I was at the store. And you know how they have those mirrors that you zoom in on, like you, um, that when you turn them around, they, they show every bit of pore. Now my face is dry right now, but my skin looked really good. So I'm like, that's really good. So I've battled with my skin all my life. And I haven't even been using my Retin-A in a while. It's been months. So, uh, my skin's really, really, really good. Um, I have pimples until now summertime they're gonna come back so on a bit and I still some one will try to pop up every now and then um mostly it depends on what I eat though so, but in the summer I get acne bad still but I was looking at my face and I was like and then uh my uh, the person I was watching my fam <laughs> shout out uh, well no shout out not this time because it's not really about the video so um oh or about it's, it's a very random anyway whatever so um and my fam was talking about um what was the other thing it was um uh, I, I should have just said this. All that rambling. I always ramble. But, uh, yeah, so it was the pores, and then it was, oh, filters, using filters and stuff. I don't use filters because I am a regular aging woman, you know, and I have no problem with my aging process. You know, it's, it happens to everyone. It happens to, to all. But with with what she was talking about was for different reasons, so it didn't have anything to do that. But I do see a lot of pe people with um, filters and there's nothing wrong with that. I remember I used this filter that, that decided on my hair, my last hair color that I wanted to get. That one was amazing. Now I do have a lot of moles that I want to give her. I saw a video that said give rid of skin tags in 24 hours. I have one. Where is it? Oh, uh, where is it? Well, I thought I had one. It's really little though. Where the mold just, well, the tag just sticks out a little bit. I thought I had one. It's right there. Hope y'all can see if I'm recording it right there. And the thing was was to get to about my moles on my sorry, about my moles on my face. Like I get moles, you see my moles or whatever. I will rip them off my own face because getting stuff done cosmetically is expensive. So I found out a way. To, now this one I want to remove. That's what made me think of doing this video. It's one right here, but it's more difficult. You see how it's in there, and it's not really sticking out that much. It's not sticking out that much, it, but I want that one removed. Um, I don't mind moles because that's a family heritage thing. It just it happens as, as I get older, I'm going to get more and more of them. I don't mind it, but I don't like it when they're big and sticking out of my face in awkward places. You know, but um, as far as aging and stuff, it's a natural process. I don't have a problem with it. Like, I'm completely content in myself. It's my weight that I be getting on, though. Now, I do want my eyebrows to grow back. And I told y'all, the doctor was saying that that's probably due to my extreme anemia. So, I have to take care of my iron issue. We just haven't gotten the blood drawn because remember I went to get the blood drawn and the lady didn't know what the freak she was doing. So I have to go back and hopefully she won't be there. You know, if I go back and she's there, I'm just going to turn around and leave. She can't stick me again. No. But, um, yeah, my lips are constantly dry. Like, I, I'm dehydrated though. All my problems I have to fix myself. <laughs> like, I need to drink water and I need to find a way to get my iron supplemented. That's not going to hurt my stomach. You know, but uh, as far as agents, I have no problem with that. I've had a very hard life. I have had extreme anemia. Um, I've had, so of course, you know, but um, I'm super thankful for me. And uh, I don't know why people, well, I don't care what, what people do, but I'm not one of those people who is in denial of age or not ready to age gracefully. I have no problem with aging. 
I just want to make sure I'm healthy. You know what I mean? So I think it's a beautiful thing, you know, because life doesn't stop until it's until it stops, you know. <laughs> so uh, and I told you again, that's why and again, why I'm not with that whole um, acting old crap, like act how you act, be yourself. I'm myself. Like, I'm not going to act like I'm older than what I am or younger. I'm just going to be myself, my natural self. But um, anyway, good morning. Just random thoughts. Y'all like, what is she talking about? I'm just rambling in the morning. <laughs> Dude, let me go ahead and get myself together. I just got out the shower, like I said. And I will see you guys as the day progresses. I just exercise, too. I'm, oh, I implemented exercising again, too, because I just want to get myself right, you know, for myself. Because I want to feel comfortable with myself, like, in my body. So, and while I feel comfortable, I don't like the fat. I don't like as much fat. I don't mind a little bit of it. But I had got, a, I gained a lot. You saw me when I showed you my back fat. It was ridiculous. Because I had been pig in the freak out. I don't have to pig out like that. I could just eat normally like I have all my life. I just, it, sometimes I go through phases where I just want to eat like crazy to eat. And that's what I was doing. So I'm calming that back down. And I'm just going to move my body just a little bit. Like I showed you and um, how I exercise. It's not like strenuous exercising. Just enough to get me back to where I was, you know. But, yeah. Anyway, much love. I hope you guys are well rested. I will see you guys on the day for rest of this. All right, honey, buddy, boo-boo, baby, materials. This is the disrespect that comes with and the random stuff that happens to me. Look, so now I can't see in my mirror and it won't get off. I'm going to stop somewhere soon, but like the randomness. On me. What are Okay, so I'm out and about with my two daughters. Um, I didn't get a chance to record myself this morning. Uh, I didn't really think about it because I was going to go get crickets for the, the animals. But then my son was like, I'm not done with those. Because last time there was a thing where they were getting out and stuff. And it was a big, a huge mess. And he don't really mess with crickets, you know. Like he's not really a bug kid, you know. But my daughter, my big girl, is. She's a bug kid, but I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So I was just like, I still, I'll just stick to the um, worms, the different types of worms, because they love those too. But um, yeah. So the crickets are out. We had to go get like toiletry stuff and household and stuff like that. But uh, we're just kind of chilling. Let me scare myself. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at the big drones. I was like, oh, look at the big drones. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm at the restroom, at a public restroom. Um, just looking at myself, looking at how cute I look. And then I was like, uh, I wanted to talk to y'all real quick while I'm like, hey, you hopefully the right folks in, about how I feel good about my decision to stop talking to you. He used to curse word with me this morning. That is completely unacceptable. I don't know if y'all can see my hair or not. But he actually used a curse word with me this morning. I don't let anybody curse at me. No one should be cursing at me. I'm not feeling that at all. I can sit y'all here probably. I'm talking about jacket, maybe. But yeah, he was feeling himself and cursed. Because he was upset. And uh, I was not feeling that at all. Don't have to curse at me. <laughs> um, so he cursed. Like, don't you act like he just curse word with me. Like, that was wrong with you. But, um, so I'm over that. I deleted it. Everything, lost everything, I can no longer in contact or any, anything, anything. So that's over and it actually feels really good. And then what I didn't tell y'all is that the energies were telling me something big time um, around the time I started talking about them. They would not leave me alone. And it was because she was like texting me that they, they, I, just, well, um, they would not leave me alone. And they left me alone as soon as I made that decision as far as like that is concerned. Because they were like really, really upset about it, about my decision to like possibly keep remaining in it it's in a stressful situation. You know what I mean? I don't need any more stress. Y'all, life is good and I deserve a good one. I'm glad the energy's out there looking for me, looking out for me to try to ensure me, push me in the right direction of goodness. But uh, let me go. My daughter's waiting for me out there. All right. Uh, hibachi. Ooh. Rat hibachi. Um, about to eat. Uh, we haven't, we put our order in, but we're just gonna eat the soup and salad real quick. And then, I'll try to get y'all a little bit footage, as if y'all haven't seen it before. We've even done it before on here. Well, not on this channel, on my last one. So, yeah. Alright. Love and grow up. I'm starving. She's starving. Pretty. 
and we oh we just left um, my daughter was looking at another car too and she's debating on that one so we still I didn't update you on that so and so she's really digging in there she's ready for something so I'll let you know and with her permission I'll show you what she gets if she gets it all right the more raw it is I got the steak and scallops of course I got meat um medium rare and it's perfection. And my daughter has it a little lightly cooked too and she likes it. So now she's realizing she should get everything rare. Absolutely not. <laughs> Alright, yo. Beautiful people, you know how hibachi is, how they cook the food in front of you, whatever. And typically, you know, typically you have your own family seat and whatever, depending on how many people are there. But you know how they'll sit a random person near you sometimes if, you know, if there's space and for the cook to come out. Okay, so there was this country white guy and his two kids. And, um, they were giggling, ha, ha having a kiki, kiki, having a good time, you know, as family should. And then these two black people came in, these two black ladies, and they sat beside, because you know, not beside them, but across from them. You know, because sometimes they'll cook, they'll cook, uh, it's happened to all of us, they'll cook, you know, different people too at the same time or whatever, for different families. So, all of a sudden, they start making stink faces, looking like stinky. A girl really looked at them like they were stinky. Um, the dad started acting weird. They started, like, just being unhappy and just, like, the whole demeanor, the whole vibe changed. And they kept cutting eyes at them. And I'm like, dang, so you just going to make yourself uncomfortable? Because these black ladies aren't uncomfortable. They're there to eat just like everybody. Just like y'all are there to eat. Just like we're there to eat. Like, you going to make yourself eat? People make themselves uncomfortable. It's so unnecessary. And it's like you're looking at them like you're gross. But did you look at yourself? Like, I don't even... I don't even understand people it's like so unnecessary and it's so sad to see where are we as people like what the f is going on whatever's going on why don't you just let people just live why don't you just be happy why don't you just focus on yourself why don't, why don't you continue to have fun with your family why don't you say hello to the black people <laughs> how about y'all can laugh together like what the f is going on y'all where are we like oh my gosh but all right i just had to rant real quick okay i'm back in bathroom lighting because bathroom lighting is the best Y'all see me back there? That's me in the bathroom lighting. Oh, I thought somebody was coming. That's me. It's me. It's me. It's Albie D. Rocking them. Let me help you. Hi. You got sauce? It's me. It's me. It's Albie D. Rocking them. 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 I love it that they cook it in front of you. It's always so perfect. I had a medium rare steak. It was so like, just, mm, could have been a little bit more blood, but it was so tender and so good. And the scallops were good too. I had to save some of it though, cause I got full quick for some reason. Um, my daughter has an all black mac with your face. And my boo over there, she wearing shoes, y'all. Sorry. Right. Right. It's just so sunny. So sunny. It ain't funny. Cause it's so dang sunny. Mm -hmm. So much traffic. Where's all this traffic on a Sunday? Is there an accident somewhere or something? It's like a lot of traffic. Hey, what time is four o'clock? Ain't nobody working at four o'clock on a Sunday. No, I'm saying like nobody wants to work on a Sunday. It's Sunday, it's church day. I'm telling with my baby, Marjorie. Do you see my tarty pie? That's my Jahani. Honey, 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 It's my boo boo, but are you? <laughs> and yes, yes y'all get to see all my fat, all my glory because it is me and I'm great. <laughs> but yeah, she loves me so much. I let her decide if she want to get out and come with me today. And she was like, I want to come with me. I want to come with you. <laughs> But yeah, I'm watching this guy, and he's super interesting. You know, I don't watch a lot of guy vlogs or anything, but he's not like a vlogger, but he talks about topics and um, with the black community and stuff like that, meaning like love and, and stuff like that. Um, as far as what I can see, like I haven't seen anything from him. This is the first, no, I watched, this is the second video I watched from him because the first one I saw was like a clip of something, but it wasn't really a full video. 
so the title grabbed me but i'm gonna see what i think of this mother figure but uh i heard he could be a bit sexist that's his negative but yeah anyway <laughs> oh, beautiful people okay so what's going on people okay so because i think she did it twice so i was watching a video by someone and they were talking about like um interracial dating black men you know picking white women and stuff and uh how it's a disproportionate um it has disproportionate as far as like black women dating white men and i don't give a freak who nobody dates like not for real because it's not me you know but um with that being said like i get it and he had a really interesting discussion I, like i'm not gonna say who it is because i'm not again i'm not gonna support anyone's stuff without really knowing a lot about them but they went on to talk about how they yeah, had okay so there were two black men that had white wives and then there was a lady a doctor lady and a doctor man yeah so um i really enjoyed the doctor man i enjoyed the lady i enjoyed the one fellow that was uh black and I'm going to tell you why I enjoyed the one, because one was hearing it out and not trying to defend so much angle, not trying to defend so much. Um, one was, one heard, okay, so one, like, actually heard things out and didn't try to, they didn't, he didn't get the floor to speak so much, which I thought was super sad, because I feel like the doctor kind of talked over him and didn't really register what he was saying when he was asking, like, a question, and he was, it like, tell him what he's gone through and everything he just he just kind of like just dismissed it because he was so convicted on the other guy the other guy with the rebuttals like the constant rebuttals and deflection you know so when it comes to the first one i actually ended up really liking him because he really took it in and even though his question didn't get answered i like the fact that he took it in and he was accountable and he understood now the doctor may need a little work with that like understand like sometimes you just gotta listen like with me, I get things handled so well with me with a, with a lot of people. And things go well with me with a lot of people. And I understand a lot of people and comprehend a lot of people more than they comprehend me because I actually sometimes shut the freak up like my daughter be saying. <laughs> you gotta shut up and you just gotta listen. Sometimes you just gotta shut up and listen. You get the floor too. These are my words. You get the floor too. Like, I don't just want you to know me, I wanna know you too. A friendship can't be formed one-sided. A friendship, a true friendship is two-sided. Because there are two people there, right? So you need to equally know each other. Or equally be trying to know and trying to care and and caring and knowing yourself, you know. So it's just, it was it was a really good discussion. And I really enjoyed it. But sometimes you got to hush. Like, I know you know a lot and I know you're great. But other people know a lot and are great too. And, and your experience isn't his experience. His experience isn't your experience. So sometimes you just got to just hush. You got to be empathetic. You know, you got to, like, just shh for a minute. Moment of silence. Listen. Comprehend. And then maybe, you know, you'll get you'll gain some ground. Um, that you didn't have before, you know, so that's my whole thing and that's yeah, I typically am good with people, you know People aren't good with me, but I'm good with people, but it was a really good discussion I really 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 enjoyed it. I watched it with my my baby girl and it was it was just fun so um I don't know if I would pursue other things from this person, but I just thought it was really good I love to hear people Defending black people because especially black women because no one defends us um, everybody looks at us as, a, at us as the worst when we're actually the super best. So, uh, <laughs> no contest. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, everyone has greatness, you know, and everyone can be equally, you know, great if they want to. If they're honest, they're open with themselves or whatever. But, um, yeah, we are also women and we're also soft and we deserve protection as well. And the world tends to forget that sometimes. So, I love it when I see it happen. Absolutely love it. But, yeah. Alright. Enough of that. On another test drive in a car that she likes better. Baby girl's back there, too. So, we'll see if she gets this one. Whew, what's going on, beautiful people? I just realized that I spent the entire day without making any videos for y'all. Without recording myself. Oh, no, I did one. I did one. But, uh, y'all see what I got on, right? I'm about to show you. Hold on. Let me try to turn it. I don't know which way. I don't know where the light is. Y'all see what I have on, right? This lady I know said, said I was dressed up. I'm like, I literally have one jeans with ribs and these <laughs> she was like you dressed up i'm like oh my door it's not 
Like, no, I'm not dressed up. Yeah, that's where I am because my daughter is a, my daughters are pizza addicts. But uh, yeah, hey y'all, hey. I'm gonna have to talk to y'all when I get home or something. I feel like I feel like I've been missing or something. But all right. Something about me that is a little strange. Okay, so I noticed it today when I thought about something. I was like, uh, I like to make people feel like their word means something. You know what I mean? Like it's valuable. And yes, when it is, it is. When it isn't, it isn't. But some people have this. It's like they're chasing this. Like uh, they have this ego, right? And um, sometimes I might indulge in the ego, you know, and uh, not all the times. It depends on the type of ego because I don't like people who are, you know, but sometimes I do it out of, for uh, humor. Like I do it for comical reasons. Like I, I just think it's funny. And I like act engaged, like super engaged. Like, like I'm really taking it in when really I'm throwing it out. And, uh, you know, that's when people are arrogant and gross or judgmental or racist or whatever. Not racist. Hold up. Racist. Race free. Not, not like white people being racist, but you know what I mean? Like. When it's a person of color that has lost their, you know, their, they forget that they're a person of color. And uh, sometimes I'll, like, listen, but not be listened. Like, I'll just, like, I'll be hearing all that, oh, like, I'm really into it, right? Like, oh, really, I didn't, oh, you know, because I think it's funny. Because to see them, like, feel like they're doing something when they're being condescending and gross, I get a little bit of a giggle out of that. I, th I just think it's kind of funny. Because it's like, I'm not taking any of this in. Like, you're talking to a wall. And, but you want to feel big about it. And they'll... And I don't always do that. Sometimes I have to snap or whatever. But... Um, or just turn my back. Because I don't have time. But, um... But when it comes to someone who's actually genuinely a good person or whatever. And has good words to share. I love to make them feel like they're valid. And feel like... You know, because sometimes I do take it in. If it's good advice or if you're a good person or you're really trying to help. You know what I'm saying? I love people who try to help others. You know, but when those when you come across those people that just, they're no, they know, they're know-it-alls and they just are there to try to make it like they're saving or something or, but they're actually being condescending and rude and disrespectful. It's like sometimes I'll just, for kicks, giggles, and thrills to myself because I'm like, they're not changing anything. But if they go too far with it, then you got to check in. You got to walk away. Or But, um... Something that I just think is funny, like, on, on a personal level. Because they really, like, people really do believe in you dumb, though. Like, people really will buy it. You know? And me being an actress, I know I'm not, like, a well-known actress or whatever, but it's funny. It's like, dang, man, you really think I'm that stupid? Yikes. Hate to see it. But it's kind of funny sometimes on a level. Then I just go talk about it. Especially if I have people with me. It's freaking funny, y'all. But all right. I'm watching people eat. I put in eating, like, what I put eating rare right and um i'm watching people eat and these guys these effing guys what's their name They're, oh my god eating fresh stomach cow fresh cow stomach and then you got the like, emoji but i want to eat with them so bad like <laughs> i want to ah! eat with them so bad like i swear to goodness i would like you got enemies because if you're gonna find me tickets and, or bring them to me to <laughs> i will slaughter your enemies to eat with these <laughs> It's like, no, I'm joking. My daughter's like, uh, uh, uh. But no, I want to eat with them so bad. Like, you don't even understand. No, she tell me stop, but it's so bad. Like, I want to eat with them so really bad. Like, you know how you sweat profusely? That's how much I want to eat with them. I want to eat with them. I'm sorry. Thanks. She's holding my hand. Because I need it. I want to eat with them so bad. <laughs> They, I've seen them, like, cut open, like, open animals, like, freaking goats and stuff, like, in the past. Don't make that look at me. Do not do it. And they just eat the raw flesh, and they have all these vegetables with it, and it's just so scrumptious. And they always have a sauce. They always have a sauce, and it's always spicy and tangy and delicious. But, like, oh, my gosh. If I could just collect myself for, like, two seconds. Ah! I probably just can't, because I want to eat it so bad. <laughs> Like, I don't even know what to say. I'm about to turn into animal devil out this motherfucker. Like, I want to eat with them so bad. Like, oh my gosh, I want to eat with them so bad. So freaking bad. Um, I would show some of their clip, but I told you the name of their... Sorry, when I think about it too much, I get a little mouth watery and just, like, <laughs> I salivate a bit. Stop. Stop. I 
gotta tell him. I gotta tell him. My baby, no, don't tell him. My baby girl's like, no. My baby girl said, it's okay because when I become rich, I'm gonna send you there and you'll eat with them. And I'm like, oh. And I had to give her hugs and loves and stuff because I'm so elated. I am so freaking elated. I'm so elated. I'm gonna eat with them, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm a, hey, y'all. What day I'm gonna eat with them? I'm gonna eat with them. I'm so upset because I didn't need to show myself before I ate. I already stuck my belly. Oops. <laughs> trying to get a picture of myself. My daughter just bought her first car. <laughs> daughter got her first car today. I'm super excited for her. She got, the kids are out with her now. Um, they wanted to just ride in it real quick. Uh, such an exciting day. But I'll be back in a little bit. Mwah. Life can be easy. It's not always well. Don't tell me truth hurts, little girl. Cause it hurts right now. Hurts right now.